Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to have a look at using Focus Track, which consists of Spotlight, Active Track, and Points of Interest. On top of the screen, put a box around you or what you want to record. I'll go in Settings and Enable Subject Scanning. Once locked on, use Spotlight as default. We'll keep the subject in the centre of your screen. You can move it up, down, left, right, wherever you want and it'll roughly always stay in the centre. Active track, now we'll go forward and backwards. Like now as I'm walking forward, it's going backwards, so I've got the front of me, which is great now. In Mavic Air 2, I could never get it to do that. But on this, it does it perfectly. As you're going down, and it will keep the distance away from you and then change direction it will just follow you but you can put this as high and as far away as you want and I say it will follow you with this as well when I was looking at it it seemed to be flying at an angle it never flew straight because it was using the top sensors to see like it's not got side sensors so it was using the the front sensors like side ones so if there's anything nearby, it will notice them. You can get just follow yourself if you're on a bike or walking. And you can have it in front of you while you're going. Or you can have it following from behind. So which is a great bonus if you're going out trekking or walking, mountain biking. Or even on your motorbike or a car. Um, I was quite impressed with it came over. I was only going slow. I will do another test with this. Um, faster with stuff around me. For the first go, I just wanted it with nothing around. And on top of this hill, it was quite steep on both sides. So it was quite good to use this. You can use it at the side of your front or back of you, and it will keep the and like you say, height, you can do high, low. And the last but not least, in point of interest mode now, you get two arrows with curves. So it does the calculation first, and then you can turn the arrow around. The further you turn it around, the quicker it will circle. And then you do it the other way, and you can make it go the opposite way. So it's quite an easy thing. Then with this again, you can lift up further away, which I, I do like this. This is quite good. If you're walking or in a vehicle, it'd be hard to do this manually while you're running or something. So having that to do it for you would be quite a bonus. This is just a brief, brief show of the different things it does. If you'd like me to do a more in-depth one, like showing the screen as I'm doing it, then I can do that again. But this was just a quick demo, just to show you what it, it can do. I will do some of this following a downhill mountain bike, which I'm quite looking forward to. That's in the pipelines. Um, so that should be quite interesting. Right, I'll see you again. Thanks for watching.